Welcome to jQuery video series and this is part 109 and today we are going to look at the prop function. <clears throat> and now I'm assuming that you might be having a jQuery file imported into your project and you also added the reference of that into your head section and you have written some basic JavaScript code in order to execute our you know jQuery instruction. So now let's have a look at the markup. So you can see in the markup what I have is one h2 and four paragraphs and two buttons which does something. <clears throat> So let's see them first of all. So this is the H2, the uh, three paragraph. This one is uh, in parallel with class red, so the border is red and 5px, so which is right here. Same goes with the green. Okay, so that's pretty cool. But green is quite an interesting one because we are dealing with the prop function here. The purpose of using a prop function is to get and set what? A value for property of a given element. So I'm focusing on this guy and I'm interested in you know this title property and now you might say hey that's not a property that's an attribute but I would say once the element gets rendered onto this DOM it is called as property. Before that I agree it's called as attribute and again you can find more of that on Google. Alright <clears throat> so uh, now uh, what I'm doing over here is once the document is going to get loaded I'm going to use the prop method. Right, and I'm going to say, hey jQuery, first find the last paragraph, which is right here, and I want to use the property uh, method, and within that, I'm going to use the title <coughs> as a property. So we are fetching the title property, and that prop <coughs> method is going to get the value of this title, so which is red alert. Okay, and once the value is fetched, it is going to get stored into the variable r, <coughs> and then we are going to update the text of paragraph who's having the class red which is right here we're going to update its text to you know whatever value we found in the title value property so obviously it's going to be red alert so let's do that so once I uh, now see over here it's red alert here and it's paragraph here all right so now this is going to get updated so the moment I do that this red alert <coughs> has been read by jQuery and updated this paragraph now it's pretty easy. Now let's talk about uh, you know the set. So this was get and this is set. So in set I will focus again on the last paragraph like this and then I'm going to use the property method and I'm going to instruct the jQuery. Hey jQuery I want to update something. jQuery will say what? I want to update a property name as title which is right here and I want to update its value as something like this. jQuery will say it's alright you can do it. So once the set is done we are informing um, the client that set is complete time for us to run the get. So let's run this thing and see. <clears throat> alright so now you see the title is over here. Now I'm going to do the set. So the title is been changed and once I do the get so the paragraph gets updated. So the get and set both are easy and like I mentioned the homework is for you to understand the difference between the attributes and the properties. So up next I'm going to use I'm going to you know start with the remove properties which is pretty simple. So I hope to see you there.